Day one for Arm Recognition editorial team at BDEC 2019, the Bahrain International Defense Exhibition, which takes place in Manama, the capital of Bahrain. Today we will focus to the development and the manufacturing of combat vehicles and other military equipment in Bahrain. And behind me is one of the highlights of the show is the new vehicle called Fessal. It's a 4x4 combat armored vehicles fully designed and developed in Bahrain. I am a Brigadier General Engineer, Aysel Mahmid, retired from BDF. And we started this project at 19, uh, 2016 until 2019 this time is finished. Actually the, the name of vehicle is Faisal and uh, this is the first time produced and first time exhibit, exhibited in the, in the exhibition and the reason for uh, building this vehicle is uh, the uh, commander-in-chief he he always advise and uh, also he his uh, view to build our own uh, weapons and equipment in our units. So we did this uh, vehicle as a first project uh, and this uh, this size and uh, uh, actually this is this vehicle built from the bumper to bumper. Uh, all the chassis and the body and all the everything is designed by us. The vehicle has uh, the power, uh, in, enough power, enough torque and uh, it has very uh, good engines, very good uh, transmission. The engine is uh, Cummins engine, 300 horsepower and the transmission is Allison. Uh, we have uh, the capacity of, of uh, the vehicle is eight persons including the gunner and also the body can be removed easily within uh, 15 minutes you can change the body from the chassis and you can change it from uh, APC to ambulance to uh, cargo to uh, reconnaissance so uh, to any uh, other uses you can see from here that the chassis from there to the end it's like a, like a boat it's v-shape all the items inside it, the power pack and the, the drive line all inside the this uh, chassis. We have three mountings each side like this one. One, two, three. You just remove the, the pen and remove the body completely within 15 minutes. You can use up to 20 uh, millimeter cannon. You can use other smaller weapons. C uh, 50 cal, you can use 7.62. You can use two uh, machine guns in the back. So we have three seats in the back and also adjustable steps for the gunner, for that uh, center one. We have two also adjustable steps. The, there is also fire uh, suppressions and for the compartment here and the engine separate and underbody. Anti-mine blast seats and also retractable seats. The back you can fold it down and you can shoot from, from inside. There is a, a four ports, gun ports. You can shoot from them. And uh, also the gunner, the, the, the commander has an, another port in, 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 this, in the windshield. He can shoot also in the front. Well, actually, like, like this layout, we have a space in the middle. Suppose you have a, equipment, you can put it here, or any injury person, you can also put it here. The, the body is B6, and the underbody also uh, stand at uh, level 2 about uh, 6 kg uh, TNT. I'm a mechanical engineer working in TMU and uh, Bahrain Defense Force. So we are modified this vehicle uh, to occupy the uh, 106 uh, cannon. Uh, it is an anti-tank uh, cannon. Uh, it is actually uh, an old cannon. Uh, just we modified the vehicle to be capable to uh, carry this type of cannon. Why? Because uh, the old vehicle was a Wells vehicle and it is uh, very uh, difficult to maintain and there is no uh, spare parts that are available in the market. We chose this vehicle because, as you said, uh, it is a Toyota uh, Land Cruiser TLC 71. Uh, because we chose this vehicle because it's a short uh, bed chassis, as you see. Uh, also, uh, it has a good horsepower. Uh, on off-road, uh, we modify 
some of uh, features in this vehicle as uh, fixing uh, f uh, recovery winch, uh, fixing uh, another tires that run flat tires. Uh, you know, if you, if you are going to, to use this vehicle uh, on the operation, so uh, actually this one has a full cabin uh, vehicle. So we remove the ceiling uh, to be suitable for, for to, to move the cannon freely up and down. We do some storage uh, area for the missiles here. The, capac the capacity is for six missiles here, okay, for the ammunition box. Those are two, th two storage boxes. Uh, you can move the, the uh, cannon freely 360 degree. Uh, uh, also, you have some storage boxes for toolboxes here. The gunner will stay here, and this is, is an adjustable uh, uh, seat, which is suitable according to the, the variety of, uh, of the uh, gunner uh, length or height. But actually, the capacity of the vehicle just to two persons, and also it is occupied by uh, uh, telecommunication system, Senegal VRC uh, seven, uh, 91, which is. Uh, uh, used in Bahrain Defense Force. We are looking forward to, to modify the, the cannon, but for the time being, the, our aim to, to uh, modify the vehicle. Bahrain Defense Forces continue to develop their own uh, product of defense, and especially according to the request of the Bahrain Ministry of Defense. Behind me is one of an ID uh, to upgrade some Toyota chassis vehicle using a remote weapon station from the Turkish company Azelsan is the SARP light. The SARP is a light remote weapon station which can be armed with two types of machine gun from 5.56 mm caliber of 7.62 mm caliber. It's very easy to integrate the remote weapon station on light vehicle. Inside of the vehicle you can see a screen and two joysticks to operate the weapon system. The weapon station also integrate laser range finder and also day and night vision. Brigadier General Abdullah Al Naimi, uh, I'm the Royal Bahrain Air Force Police Commander, and I would like to welcome you again in the second Baidik in Bahrain. And uh, yeah, on this uh, event on Baidik 2019, we came with a new vehicle that we call it the first response vehicle. It can go direct, very lightweight, move to the emergency uh, location. Uh, very fast with the water and foam and more than five fire extinguisher. The important to use this vehicle in Royal Bahrain Air Force is that it can go very fast and quick to the, the emergency landing for our helicopter and the emergency landing. And the other thing that can escort uh, our convoy uh, on road and off road. Starting with the vehicles, it's a, a Tuta. Uh, Hilux 4x4 and we cube the vehicle with the different fire extinguishers and you, as you see the stand here for five different type of fire extinguisher this vehicle come with a generator it can take 150 liter water and 20 liter foam and it's come with the rail hose rail it can goes 40 meter to where is the emergency or where is the fire the generators come with 150 liter capacity of the water and we have another 20 liter from the foam. Uh, we can use this 150 liter for five minutes and in case of emergency we can connect the generator with a different source of water and also we can use the water from the sea. My name is uh, Abdel Al Sabahi. Uh, I'm the founder of uh, Black Cobra Custom. We do lots of work with the government, uh, with the military, with the Air Force. This is uh, the Toyota Sequoia. We did this car uh, two years back. It is for K9 uh, units. The car uh, it has solar system, it has a camera, it has camera in the cages, it has emergency uh, cage. We fixed the camera, but we, we take it from uh, different suppliers. We have the room here, the small one. It is, it has CV. Uh, somebody can can uh, monitor the dogs in the back for the canine, and uh, we have the solar system in the car. So if if like if you going out uh, of uh, fuel, uh, you have the solar system, but you cannot drive the car. But at least you can use. Everything, yes, the system in the car. We have the cages. This is the 
two cages. We have the air condition for the dog and we did different air condition for the car and different for the dog. Like if you, if you want uh, to put the degree front 18 and you need for the dog 24, you can do that. We have camera, we have uh, air condition, we have uh, light, we have drainage. So the car doesn't uh, uh, come uh, smelly. So you can wash the car inside, no problem with, with the, anything. This is the storage. We, we have here also 220. We can take 220 from the car. This is coming from the solar system also. We can use, as you see, uh, cattle, fan, water, whatever that you can, you can do it here. This is the shade. Uh, in Bahrain, uh, sometimes the degrees goes very high. So always we put shade for the dogs. We have the emergency door here on this side. This one, it will open by, if you push the button inside, it will come. Uh, we have double battery system we did in this car. Uh, we have uh, fire extinguisher in this car. And the other car it is a Nissan uh, pickup. It is for rescue and service. And this car is Nissan Patrol pickup. They use it as rescue vehicle. And they use it while the helicopter comes emergency. This car can go off-roading. Suspension, we take the car up so we can, we can go anywhere we want while we do the off-roading.